can't wait for you to get to log on and act all superior because you saw the mechanics. The fuck is log on? <laughs> <laughs> Lil bro thinks I was actually watching the stream. I can't <laughs> imagine. Did I even like look at these items before? Nah, I mean, who knows? Anyway, wait, hold up, hold, hold up, hold up. No. So you're a cold swarm blade now. Let me explain it to you, you person. All right. In the previous episode of Dragon Ball Z, all right, I tried to change into a shape-shifting swarm blade looking as werebear trash build. <laughs> and I mean, technically it kind of worked. Like, it's not like I was unable to kill anything, but it probably wasn't good either, all right? So I went into the workshop, all right? I went into the mind palace, okay? And I was looking through the little like things on the swarm blade skill tree and I saw this shit, all right? You know how when I was playing the were bear or whatever he's called, all right? I changed him into like a lightning bear. So this changes the swarm blade into a frost Blade, I guess. <laughs> Something like that. Alright, so here's the idea, okay? Listen, okay, this is gonna be insane, okay? This thing, which is my main auto attack, also has a cold based, you know, thing, synergy, that kind of shit. So, like, this basically makes it so all of my bleed chance is converted into frostbite, right? And this thing gives me bleed chance based on Maelstrom stacks. Okay? <laughs> so, logically, I'm gonna use Maelstrom, right? And I just like put it, I gave it like a longer duration. And this thing, by default, it's a cold, you know, ability. So I made it like do more chill and freeze and whatever. <laughs> you know? But hold on, hold on. I couldn't figure out what kind of other ability to use. So I was like, okay, hold up. Since I have Maelstrom, I have this and I have this. I'm basically like trying to hit the enemies as many times as possible to like freeze them and shit. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put in a companion, right? And I was thinking about which one to put in, right? And then I saw this shit, okay? This makes it so that anytime I use Swarm Strike, which is an ability that I use like all the time, one of my companions is gonna use its ability, you know? I, I'm hoping it's for free, okay? Because this shit costs a lot of mana. And this guy's ability gives me Frenzy, which is like... 20% attack speed bonus and it also like increases my damage by like 25% so I'm gonna like stack up the wolves to like give me as much as many buffs from howling as possible just so I can like you know use this I have no fucking idea what I'm gonna use as the level 50 ability <laughs> so like I'll deal with that when I get there okay I mean, I, I don't, I have no clue. Maybe I'll just put on like another companion. Like, actually that doesn't work. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe... I, I did see that there's like this thing where like if you do right clicks, you like cast Tornado. And I'm kind of like already like one point towards it. So maybe I could like, I don't know, I'll do something with the Tornado. Level 56 and I still haven't chosen my... I don't know what the fuck... Wait, wait, what? You still haven't chosen the fifth ability? Now I see why you're doing no damage. Okay, it makes sense. <laughs> but anyway, this build is going to be absolute fucking garbage. Right now. 
because, well, I mean, everything's level 5, you know? Like, usually you're supposed to have shit at, like, level 13 at this point. Maybe even 15. So, like, yeah. It's gonna be shit for a bit. And maybe even for a little more after that. It would be great if the game actually worked, though. I didn't expect this. What? Oh, hold up. I got a big damn. That huge hog damn. That knees weak arms are heavy mon spaghetti damn. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Dan. Okay. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I need to actually summon the wolf. The wolf. So like, okay. I think the way I do it. Oh yeah, and also another thing is with the maelstrom. I don't know if I mentioned this, like, but like I didn't tell you how I actually get the maelstrom. Anytime I use dive, I get stacks of maelstrom. That's how I get it. <laughs> I feel like I skipped over the most important part of the build. Like without that, it doesn't really work. I mean, it kind of works, and also like it has like single target potential. The only issue is the fact that I still lose rage while I'm in it. So like eventually I get like transported out of it. And I still don't have this finished. Wait, what's, what the fuck is going on? Where did they come from? Where did it go? Okay, now it's gonna like synergize better. I'm gonna make the maelstrom last longer. Since I kind of need that. Okay, so if I do this, like, okay, here's the deal. I wanted to, like, try to make the shape-shifting shit kind of work, but I realized the fatal flaw in it, all right? What I thought was happening with, like, the shape-shift to bear ability was, like, anytime I press E, right, if there are locusts near me, okay, it eats them, and it gives me a buff that, like, increases my damage, right? By, like, a lot. Like, this buff, see? Like, Locust Swarm stacks. Okay? But it also gives me a hidden buff, which is, like, this fucking circle around me. That's not the Maelstrom. That's, like, that's the actual, like, you know, the Locust Swarm, right? Well, what I thought originally is that when I shapeshifted into the bear... I thought that it would increase the duration of the little locust swarm stacks by like 4 seconds, you know? Which would have been pretty good, except that's not what it does. <laughs> it just increases the duration of like this locust swarm like actual circle that deals the damage. And that's like extremely pointless because this shit already like lasts long enough for me to not give a shit about it. Also, I'm extremely squishy, I, as you can see. I don't know why. Okay, I'll just keep putting points here. I need to make the wolf survive more. I started putting points into this, which is like endurance and shit. I don't know, I just need to be tankier. But like... It should kind of work, you know? <laughs> At least, I hope it will. I'm missing, like, a bunch of the synergy at this point. So, like, that's, like, the worst part about it. Like, I, I need more stacks of Maelstrom. I need more points. I need more everything. But when it comes online, surely... I'm gonna do mediocre damage. Just you wait, okay? You're gonna see. I'm gonna be the one laughing in the end. At least the leveling is kind of fast. More stacks, more move speed. Yeah, true that. Oh wait, I'm not even doing the cold damage yet. <laughs> of course the build is shit. Also, with this ability... I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. You regain health when a serpent strike kills 
an enemy. Uh, I guess I'll just like have a higher chance to freeze. Or maybe like that. I mean, bleed chance increases my shit. Attack speed is obviously good. Dodge rating per use. Maybe I should just like scale more defense somehow. I guess I'll just go for like this higher chance to freeze. Wait, when you use Serpent Strike, you gain dodge rating based on your uncapped cold resist for 4 seconds. This buff can stack an unlimited amount of times. Isn't that like OP as hell? <laughs> Isn't that like a lot? I mean, that could be good. Surely. Anyway, I'll just start putting points here. And I'll just get everything. And with this one, I just need more duration. That's the issue there. I might need to, like, lower the cost of Maelstrom. Because, like, it does cost me mana to use it. I'm just gonna keep putting points into Endurance to get a little tank here. I guess we'll see. Like, the main thing is that, like, I can summon these hives, right? Which I'm not usually doing because, like, it's not really worth it if you can kill the enemies, like, very fast. But, like, when I summon a bunch of these locusts, my damage just fucking skyrockets. Because, like, I'm consuming them with the E, which also is increasing my damage, which, like, makes, like, a secondary maelstrom around me. Which is like the serpent swarm or whatever it's called, the locust swarm. And it's like, shit just like works. I also want to do a thing where anytime I have a locust swarm, it's gonna like make me... Wait, hold up. <laughs> it's... it's gonna make me like summon more locusts so I can like... You know, eat the locusts to summon more locusts to eat more <laughs> You You get it, okay? It, it's gonna make sense, trust bro, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. Also, I'm getting like completely destroyed by these enemies. Taking so much fucking damage. Like, the, these little like blood circles on the ground are fucking me up. My gear is, like, very shady, <laughs> which might be the reason why it's happening. Well, I mean, everything other than those boots, okay? The boots are insane. But I do need, like, other stuff. I did update my loot filter, okay? I made it so the game only shows me items that are, like, below... Like, 20 levels below me or higher. And you would, you would be surprised how fucking hard it is to make that shit happen, okay? <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to, like... Okay, hold up. Because, like, the game only gives you the option to, like... hide items that are... 20 levels below you, but, like, in the opposite direction. <laughs> I don't know how to fucking explain it, just, just like, trust me when I say it wasn't easy. I had to do like a double negative to make that shit work. Also, these enemies are kind of fine, they're not doing that much damage. I just imported someone's loot filler for Void Knight war Warpaths. <laughs> what if they have like different priorities though? Isn't that like gonna fuck you up? <laughs> I mean, who cares? I guess. Can I jump? Shit, that worked. What's in here? Oh shit! Wait, the legendary idol? Wait, 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 wait. Who's this? Le <laughs> Level 42? You cannot deal crit strikes. You... 9... Percent more hit damage if you have only one singularity equipped. What? What the fuck does that even mean? What, what what's hit damage? Is that like a? Is that like? Is that like a? 
I, I don't even know, bro. I, I don't. I have no clue. What the fuck is that? I don't know. It's an idol. If you put it there, here is minion damage. Oh yeah, I need to like change my relic now, considering I'm not using Fury Leap anymore. Would this be better? Elemental resist, physical resist. Honestly, doesn't really give me HP, but like. Ah, who knows. I need to get so much more gear. <clears throat> I did put my Fury Leap here just so I can like jump, you know, while I'm outside of the form. Kinda helps. Oh shit, increase XP on head? Okay, those, these are blue mobs. I was wondering why I'm doing literally zero damage to them. Okay. I didn't realize this place had literally nothing in it. Can I... Hold up. Hold up. Maybe I can... Nice! <laughs> Thank God. I am the pro jumper. Oh shit. Fury Leap is the best ability in the game. By far. Trust. I should have kept... The fucking werebear build. <laughs> I'm just saying this shit is trash. You know what's funny? I feel like the shape shifting thing actually worked better than this somehow. <laughs> no, surely it's because of the synergies. It's not shit. I, I swear, it's not trash. Okay, now wait. Now I do the cold damage. So now it's gonna be good. I'm gonna take this when I can, okay? Just for like the extra survivability and give me more duration on that. What is this place? Maybe, maybe while I'm in this form, I should just like stack up the Maelstrom. I wonder if the Maelstrom even like does any damage. Like, I'm just using it to increase my bleed procs, but like, maybe it also deals damage. I mean, who knows. I'm already liking the endgame in Last Epoch, even though I just did one map. <laughs> the fact that I got a menu and just click him instead of collecting. Just remember, okay? When Diablo 4 came out, we also thought that game was fucking amazing, okay? I'm just saying, alright? I'm not saying Last Epoch is bad, I'm just saying ARPGs are always fucking amazing at the start, before you realize all of the issues. Okay? Eh? Is this a boss? This should be a boss. Okay, let's see the single target damage. Okay, like this guy is a little fucking difficult to fight because he keeps moving around. Let me summon the locust. Honestly, this is like fine. Like, I, I remember fighting this guy like... And he would be giving me more issues. Jesus fucking Christ, these mobs. Zero DPS? What do you mean? Oh shit, boner time. <laughs> of course. What did I get? Did I get this battle axe? I need better weapons, bro. I need... Nine health on melee hit. I feel like that would be quite useful right now. Plus melee fire damage. Does it actually like increase my D DPS? <laughs> Hold up. 1151. 1136. You know what? I'll take that. 1136. 1130. Even though it lowers the damage, it also gives me like life on hit. Wait, hold on. It doesn't have an affix. Just give me cold damage on it. 
There it is. 1423. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that I just fucking upgraded it by like 25%. That makes it a lot better. Imagine not knowing how to craft. <laughs> Couldn't be me. What is this shit? Earthquake? I don't, I don't fucking have an earthquake. Fuck that. Me who only relies on echoes to do damage. What the fuck are echoes, bro? Okay, this is a ball that doesn't actually move around. This is so shit. Okay, let me spawn the dudes. At least I can stay in the form. <laughs> um. Yeah. Wait. What's that sound? What the fuck was that sound? Did you hear it? Like, it's a fucking my theme song started playing or some shit. I got the unique boots. Bro. 140 146% chance to shock on lightning hit. You are shocked for 4 seconds when you stop moving? Bro. <laughs> Man, these boots would have been so good if I was playing a, you know, lightning build. Lightning build, let's get it, reroll. <laughs> I can't, bro. No way am I rerolling now. I mean, you can play this shit as a lightning build. Somehow. I don't exactly know how, but I have heard people using like lightning swarm blade. <laughs> I guess maybe the tornado. Is the tornado lightning? What the fuck even is the it's nothing. It's just physical, I guess. Never mind. I ain't switching, okay? I mean, especially not from... If it was anything other than boots, I would switch. But, like, this shit is already... Like... I have such good boots. I can't. I'm gonna become... I'm gonna become the Joker, alright? How many passive points can I still get? By the way, I looked this up. I looked at this Artem's offer bullshit up, okay? It's just a bug. Like, you cannot complete this quest, you cannot cancel it, it's just bugged. That's it. That's the only thing about it. I thought maybe I did something wrong, nah. This is the answer. Quickly. And I don't think the devs are gonna be fixing it anytime and soon. That should do it. Since they got better things to do. This waypoint's harder than I anticipated. But no worries. All good now. Man, I'm also harder than I anticipated. Just in time. Looks like we've got company. Lethal company. Anyway, off you go. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> I love how he's like supposed to be in like a, you know, like in like a nefarious situation. You know, the motherfucker has like the calmest voice on the planet. He's like, "All right, in you go. Come on, come on, come on, kids, let's go." The bus is here, come on, get in. Don't be alarmed. Oh my god, it's a zombie. The Emperor, you're over I will hopefully. I will see you soon. I will see you soon. Enter the lovers lo lover lovers sewers. Do they make love in there? Alright, enough talk. Smack? I mean, I feel like I'm doing. <laughs> it's like I don't know why, but this build is making me switch like every two seconds. It's like mm, I'm doing zero DPS. Then two seconds later, oh shit, I'm doing so much damage. <laughs> and then once again, I'm doing zero DPS. 
Okay, this is going to make the build work though, okay? More Maelstrom stacks. Trust, bro, trust. That's that's the thing I was missing. That's it, that's, that's all there is to it. Higher chance to freeze enemies. Mm-hmm. Yep, cool. Cool. Hmm. Killing an enemy has a chance to create a stack of Maelstrom. Yeah, like, Maelstrom can be made to be, like, lightning-based, so, like, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I'm just gonna do, like, damage to chilled. I'll make the... Maelstrom also heals a a allies. Maybe that could be good. Maelstrom and Tsunami deal more damage. They have shorter duration. Honestly, I have no clue. When your number of Maelstrom star reaches zero, like I feel like I don't want it to reach zero though. I feel like that's like something that shouldn't be happening. I'll just put more. You know, I'll I'll make it. Okay, how does this shit work? Okay. Base damage is called Freeze Raid, Bleed Chance into Frostbite. What is Chill? Like, wh what does Chill actually do? Does that do damage? Nah, it just reduces movement speed and shit. Chill is useless. <laughs> but like... What about Freeze? Like, can this shit give Frostbite somehow? No? Never mind, I guess. You know, maybe the healing per second might be decent. <laughs> I'll, I'll just keep... I'll, I'll take all of these points, alright? Each Maelstrom stack gives you a chance to dodge. You know what? That sounds actually pretty nice. Maybe I should be like a dodge build. Like, I don't know, I'm just saying, like, I feel like dodge builds are trash. Like, what do you do when you don't dodge? Do you just die? <laughs> like, it's cool and all to think like, oh yeah, I have 99% dodge chance, I'm unkillable. But like, if you get hit, you still die, no? And because you're focusing only on dodge chance, that means you have like zero armor. At least I think. I don't know, maybe... Maybe I don't know how that dodge chance works. Maybe it gives you like mitigation on top of it. Okay, more points into... Mm, whatever. Like, does this act... Wait, wait, hold up. Does this not give me a locust swarm? Or am I stupid? This is me... Wait, what happened? Where did it? What did I jump into something? I just accidentally went into a verdant lake. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to be here? What's this weird thing around me? That's not Maelstrom, is it? This is Maelstrom. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on. The build is making weird circles around me that ain't supposed to be there. This is the Maelstrom. Okay, where the fuck is my Locust Swarm? You know what? I have no clue, bro. Okay, this boss literally just like insta-died. Who was that? Why did he die so quickly? I don't even know what I did. Okay. By the way, the only reason I have Gathering Storm here is just because like it costs zero mana. I, I honestly don't know what ability to put there. Maybe I should just put in like Warcry to like stun enemies while I'm outside of the form. By the way, I'm gonna make my Swarm Strike 
give like make like have like more range eventually so i can actually like use it okay let's test it out on the boss again I mean, he's getting stunned. Like, I guess I forgot about this, but like, yeah, this build also like freezes enemies. I, I know, no one would have ever guessed, right? Considering that it's supposed to be a freeze build. <laughs> but yeah, it also freezes enemies, so I guess that's like my damage reduction, you know? They can't damage me if they can't, if they can't, basically. I mean, that's, that's about all there is to it. This, I feel like something's not working correctly, okay? Where's my Locust Swarm? Did I, like, accidentally get rid of it? Can I no longer have a Locust Swarm? Like, something sussy. Like, that, what, what? Okay, hold up. I got a level. Give me more damage reduction. Oh, this is on a sentinel. Dan, do you want this? <laughs> Wait, I just realized, like, we are playing a multiplayer game. I can give you the sentinel shit that I'm getting. This has 7% chance to cast Void Rift on kill. Is that good? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck a void rift is, but that sounds like something a void guy right. would want. Um, I'll use this. If it weren't for you, I'd still be in the dreadnought. I have no idea what it does. By the way, I just realized my my little guy is blue now. I'm blue. Da ba dee da ba die. I'm blue. <laughs> yep. That's the build, I'm blue. I think my little guys are also blue. Should I be calling them little guys? How many stacks of Maelstrom can I have? Seems like a lot. Honestly, the build is kind of nice. <laughs> Now wait 15, no, wait like 5 minutes until I say, man, this build is kinda shit. And then I'm gonna say that this build is kinda good in like another 5 minutes. It's just like fucking over and over. Okay. I need points into this. I feel like... Nah, I wanted one point into this. Okay, so this should keep spawning locusts from my ass. I think. When you use Serpent Strike, you gain additional dodge rating based on your uncapped cold resist. Uncapped cold resist. Dodge rating on use per 10% cold resist. What's my... 35? I thought I had like a bunch from this. I do. Well, that's not that many. That's not that much. I have zero dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have zero dodge? What happened? Why do I have zero fucking dodge? Well, I guess it's good then. I have no idea what it does, but sure, just gotta finish my map. Oh, is he like summoning shit? I hate this boss. Like, the fact that he keeps moving around is so fucking annoying. He has like a... He reminds me of this one ability of a character from something, I don't know what. Oh yeah, I know, fucking... Artanes or whatever his name was in Heroes of the Storm. He had this ability where he just like went a direction and then he came back immediately. He just kept doing that. 
0.7 seconds of traversal skill cooldowns recovered on potion use. Increased chance to find potions. By the way, how do I even trade you something? 5% increased health, 25%... Oh my god, bro. Thank you. Thank you. It's the tankiness that I was looking for. Thank god. Finally. I'm not gonna instantly die anymore. This is fine. I wonder why those things like stay behind. I just realized. Do my wolves actually like howl often? Like I don't even notice it. But I don't think they do. I mean I still need to get that one ability. Okay, now the duration is longer. And it all and they have a chance to howl when they hit a boss. 7 health on kill, 15% void resist. Increase damage over time. Okay, wait, I don't have lightning damage anymore, so this is useless. Okay, I can put this on. Yeah, this was spec for my lightning shit. Which is literally pointless now. I just realized, like, while I'm in the human form, I can just manually cast the maelstroms. Just so, like, I... You know, just so I have something to do. I don't need to, like, hold the right click. Okay. I need to go this way. Like, I'm trying to figure out how to play this build. Like, I'm thinking about maybe... Maybe instead of right clicking, I could just like, you know, while my W and E is on cooldown, I could just like spawn locusts, you know? So I can just, you know, do this shit over and over. Nice, a sickle. I mean, my W and E do like a bunch of damage. Just got some temporal sanctum key, whatever that does. I have no idea what the Temporal Sanctum is. <laughs> I have no fucking clue. But I mean, good enough. Gonna try it out even though it was level 65. Yep, nothing can go wrong. 33 melee necrotic damage. Increase melee damage. Okay, let's see. Does it actually increase my damage or lower it? 1, 4, 2, 2. Okay, not better than that. Okay, no, it doesn't. It's shit. I do say that, but it's... It has that weird parry chance. Whatever. I don't know how parry works. Does it, like, do damage back? I mean, maybe it does. I notice that I quite often just, like, stand around and do nothing. Maybe I should take the... Maybe I should take the passive point that makes it so I don't oh. decay rage while I'm, you know, out of combat. Whatever out of combat means in this game. Hey, how much rage does W cost? Like 10 mana? Yeah, that's kind of fine. I think I need to go this way, surely. <clears throat> this map... I don't like this map, okay? There's like no enemies here. All of them are just like spread out. It's a shit map. I need to go somewhere else. Okay, not this way, apparently. You know what? Let me turn into a human and just, like, jump. I wonder, do I have another ability that helps me, like, travel? I don't think I do.
It's just leap. Like, I could make it so my human form only leaps and does shit like that, you know, jumps. My wolf died again. Like, the minions survive for like zero seconds. Is this a boss? I mean, it looked like it. It didn't feel like it. Here I was, hoping this would lead us closer. We might have no choice but to chat. What's he on about? Find the necropolis of the deep. Alright, <clears throat> let me jump. By the way, this is also one of... This is also a great thing where like you don't need to actually click on the door to get into the next area. You just like walk near it. And it teleports you. Pretty nice. Oh, it's one of those guys. I don't know why, but these dudes, I just instantly freeze them. I don't know. I might switch to the lightning blade. I call it lightning blade. I mean, uh, you know, it, it kind of makes it easier to say. Rather than saying frost swarm blade, it's better to just say frost blade. I mean, what else could it be? It's not like it confuses it. Okay, the maelstrom is doing like no damage. I just like. I just looked at it. It's like nothing. <laughs> Doesn't do shit. Increase damage over time while transformed. Shapeshift the duration on. Oh? Huh? I don't really care. Give me this. I'll just keep putting points into defensives. Until I get to something that's better. You know what? I'm gonna transform back. I really don't like this area. There's like no enemies anywhere. They're all just like fucking spaced out. It's annoying as hell. This guy's stunning me. Rasp the blade and kicking carapace. Okay, hold up. Let me just summon that so nothing interrupts me. Increase minion health. It's funny how this random yellow armor already has more armor than that fucking legendary. 5% endurance. Increase spell damage and spell minion. Void resist. Still kind of trash. Rust blade. Man, I really need to get some better stuff. Okay, you know what? It's time to put my points here. Swarm strike area. Locust swarm area. And I'm gonna get this so I can actually like use the wolf and make it howl. Cold penetration with frostbite. Frostbite duration. Yep. I got two points into this. <laughs> so like I just noticed that Maelstrom doesn't do damage. So if Maelstrom doesn't do damage, then making it do more damage is pointless, right? So like I should just do shit that makes it like you know beneficial to me like more dodge rating right i mean that, that, that works so like every stack of maelstrom gives me like i mean it's some it's an amount i guess it's like it's a number of dodge I mean, I can get to like 30%, it seems. Increase crit chance, increase melee attack speed. 
Oh yeah, I haven't even switched out these bases for like a billion years now. You know what? This is actually so much better. Crit chance, attack speed. Yeah. Man, I don't know if that's my... I don't know if that attack speed happened because of the bracers or what, but what the fuck was that? Also, is my fucking ability even working? I, 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 am I not supposed to be like summoning locusts when I'm... What? Like, I put a point into that, no? If you have an active locust swarm, it also really... Locusts? Wait, what? How does this... Wait, maybe that doesn't do what I think it does. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it now. All right, it does. Okay, it was written in a weird way, but like, I guess that it's my fault for misinterpreting it. Well, it actually... Well, I thought that it would just make me passively summon locusts every time I used Swarm Strike and had, like, the swarm around me, right? But what it actually does is it makes it that the hive... Like, the, the hive, when it's summoned, and I have a locust swarm from the E, that's when it also, like, summons more locusts. Which is, I guess, not terrible? I mean, it's not as good as I thought it would be. Why am I... <laughs> What's happening to my character? <laughs> what is going on? Why am I rubber banding? Of course, this shit happens in the zone that has like the longest walk on the planet. <laughs> I can't even use my abilities. Can you stop? What the fuck is happening? And when he fled, I saw him head. The heart of the citadel is beyond. Yep. There is an exit near the Emperor's throne, giving you a chance. Is this a passive point? Yes. Okay. Do I have? Okay, I can still take two more. Let me cook for a second. Okay, let me cook. What is this caress? 25 melee damage, 12 melee physical, 11% melee attack speed, health on- holy shit, what the f- wait, hold up, this fucking dagger is insane? I can't test out the damage right now, but I think- yeah, that's- it's better like this. I can't put my dagger into my offhand, just so we're clear. Because I can only put an axe there. And I think a sword, maybe. But yeah, that shit is actually pretty nice. Okay, let me sell all of this. I'm gonna keep the legendary. Because I can. 12 armor and 4% cold resist. Don't I scale from cold resist? I think I do. That's nice. The fuck is going on? I can't move, bro. <laughs> oh no. Can I make like a tab that's like. Unique. And this is like idols. Wait. Oh, I need to purchase a stash tab. Wait, okay, I don't need I don't need this. Just like Take this out. 
and put it here. I love how you can recolor these. It's like POE. Let me do, put it here as idols. Okay. Can I sort this? Is that sort? <laughs> yes. On figure. The Sanctum shit is hella weird. Essentially, it's a fucking labyrinth with modifiers to drop chances for every stage you beat. Is that bad? Okay, hold up. Let me... Check this out. What are my resists? Cold and lightning scales me up. Okay, lightning doesn't really, but cold does. So like, I want that. But I also need like actual resists. My physical is absolute dog shit. My necrotic is also dog shit. So I need like something like that. Chance to shotgun hit and HP. What is what is going on? I don't need that. Health on kill and void resist. I mean, void resist is kind of nice. Increase health, that's also nice. Shotgun hit and lightning resist, garbage. Armor cold is good. Necrotic and chance to bleed on hit is actually like... It, that's actually good, somehow. Oh yeah, then I also have this one. This sentinel. It's a huge idol. 25% <laughs> increased damage for 4 seconds if you have cast Devouring Orb recently. And also 80% increased physical damage over time. Is that useful? I don't know. I have no clue. You know what? I'm just gonna put these on. Because they're like so good. AD Fizz might be. Do you actually do damage over time? Like that's a dot. Like I, I'm not sure your spin counts as a dot. Unless it specifically says so. I do get more DPS. From damage over time. Alright. Physical, necrotic, and fire. No. Chance to poison on head. I mean, that's kind of fine. Vitality and void. I think that's also fine. What did I say? Yeah, I need necrotic. Necrotic. Check my warpath DPS. Alright, nice. Physical resist. Yeah, I have like no physical resist. I'll put this on. And I have dots. Now that I think about it, I guess Frostbite is a dot. So I do scale from dots. This is useless. There's a bit of fire resist. I mean, that's nice. This is just elemental resist, which might be even better. I mean, it is definitely better. Here's health regen, poison, hold, dodge, void damage, mana. Increase cold damage? Wait, hold up. I am gonna put this on instead of that. I like these little idols. It's so fun just like looking at them. Increase health and increase cold damage. Oh shit. But it's a big one. Is that worth it? <laughs> Is it worth... Okay. Armor... 12 armor and 4% cold is shit. 6 mana... Okay, what What about... How, how about like this? 
just take this off and put this on. That's more damage. It's like <laughs> fucking losing it. This is 15% necrotic resist, which is better than that. This is 16, this is 15 void. Health on kill. Increased physical damage. Okay, now I'm looking way better with the defensives. Surely. <laughs> this is gonna be better, right? Can I can I forge these? No. Can't I can. So this dagger I have figured out is OP as fuck, right? So might as well just craft it a bit. Increased chance to stun with melee attacks. I mean, why not? Still need to find a better relic. relic. Or anything like that. Holy shit, this, this place is so laggy. Impossible. Why do I have two Maelstrom stacks? I got a relic for you. <laughs> Just gotta get done with Sanctum. You do? <laughs> By the way, what is this blessing? I didn't even look at this. What is this? What are these blessings? Do you have this unlocked? I've never even looked at this tab. Like black sun. I don't know. Hopefully that's like more damage.